Good evening, fellow Toastmasters, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls from around the world. We welcome you to Global Impromptu Speaking 51st session. Thank you so much for giving us 50 successes and ready for 51st as well. Really appreciate. We are honored to have you. You're all looking great, colorful, blue, red, yellow, white, whatever you are, but all amazing in looks. Thank you so much for that. Today, our table topic master is Toastmaster Abhinav Gaur. But before we call him up on stage, we have somebody who is our timer. Let's welcome him to explain the timing mechanism. Toastmaster Monu, please explain how you're going to show us the timing. Thank you, Toastmaster Amjad. Hello, good evening, all fellow Toastmaster and uh, wonderful guest. I am Manu Sahu playing, uh, playing timer role of this meeting. Uh, the time limit for table topic is one to two minutes. For one minute, I will show the green card. For one and a half minute, I will show the yellow card. And for two minutes, I will show the red card. And we will have, we will still have 30 second grace period. So you have to wind up your speech. Till then, I will change my background like this for green, for yellow with this one, and for red like that. Thank you. Over to you, Toastmaster Amjad. Thank you so much, uh, Toastmaster Monu. Please give him a big hand for accepting this very critical role of every Toastmasters meeting, especially in global impromptu speaking. Fellow Toastmasters, today's word of the day is uh, docile. Docile or docile. I believe we are all ready and we accept challenges in our life and we can be called as docile since we are accepting different challenges and more, more of that are above that, are on top of that, many of us are married and we are actually accepting challenges every single day and we can be proudly called as docile. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together to welcome our topics master, Toastmaster Abhinav Gaur. Toastmaster Abhinav, you over to much. you. Thank you very much and good evening my dear friends. How are you all today? Give me a thumbs up. Perfect. I want this energy throughout the meeting. So today topics are quite different. Two, vol two volunteers will share one topic. First volunteer will get the first line and second volunteer will get first line as well as second line. Why this change? Well, the first line itself is a topic. But when we add the second line into the topic, then it will change the entire meaning. Let me give you an simple example. For example, the first speaker is getting a topic. Behind every successful man, there is a woman. Someone said that in this, in this meeting, I guess, Toastmaster Ajay. Now, the first speaker will speak for this topic in the given time frame, and then we'll call for the next volunteer. He will get the same topic, quite easy, with one additional punchline. Behind every successful man, there is a woman who tells him that he is wrong. Getting? So this is the fun in today's session. So we'll start our meeting with Toastmaster Anushri. Okay. <laughs> so Toastmaster Thank Anushri, yes, the topic for you is I never made a mistake twice. I never made I never made a mistake twice. Good evening, family and friends. I never made a mistake twice. This is absolutely wrong for me. Sorry to say, but I made a mistake twice, exactly twice. And third time I realize <laughs> I should not repeat that mistake. <coughs> so it is a, a kind of a confession uh, because people are judging, people are pretending so much uh, many of them, those who know me, uh, I'm a very happy going woman, huh? whereas men is more uh, dominating or docile in me. But uh, anyhow, that mistakes, which I made it. I married in 2004 when it was not working. In 2008, I took a decision. I should separate. In a one year, I took that decision. We were not together. Then I thought, okay, we reconcile. I did that. But again, 
it was not working and this is not a story this is something which had happened and again 2014 i have to took i took the decision because it wasn't working so i made a mistake which i was regretting for last 6 year i am a single men or women what you want to say but single parent and i'm very happy to be there because my daughter is with me and i don't have a regret for that but yeah i made a mistake twice so there is nothing to hide about that and uh, i hope people will not judge me on that right so it happened when you are doing uh, some mistake you should commit that yeah it was a mistake uh, because if a sensible person we should know what is happening in our life we should take a control we should not be docile by someone uh, but uh, i commit that so abina over to you thank you <laughs> thank you very much coach master anurag ji big round for you moving forward towards our next speaker coach master wafa please come forward and the topic for you is i never made a mistake twice i make sure to repeat it till i learn something from it here you go welcome sir thank you just brought smile to my face good evening ladies and gentlemen and that is such a statement about me that i never make a mistake twice but when i make a mistake i make sure i learn from it and that's my life story it takes time to actually understand that we are making a mistake being born confident or maybe a bit rebellious to things not accepting changes as they come i took this as i was always right but gradually trying to understand that being right is not the true thing making sure that you blend into the society you accept others and you accept yourself and you understand others and you understand yourself and you connect with others so you can connect with yourself is the real idea so yeah that's how it worked for me and that's how i started learning and that was the time when my life started changing so i really don't know how more i can i elaborate this further but this is what my life story is and you just named it in one statement that when i make my mistake i make sure i learn from it or maybe somebody else learns from it over to you thank you so much thank you very much to us master for next we are going towards those master for arc those master for arc the topic for you is i always find the key to success those master for arc i always find the key to success i always find the key to success yeah. good evening uh, toast masters and uh, wonderful members i always find key to success is or like uh, definitely if you are working on some project or any task which is looks hard but definitely you will find the ways to uh, do it i share a personal story that i am not a born musician and even i am not a mu musician but since last 5 years i picked up a habit and picked up a instrument a uh, flute to uh, and trying to play it just because in the middle uh, age my brother played a guitar i was so, all so much inspired by him then i start picking up an instrument i initially learned it from the web but even i did not know how the those sources are played i know that some keys uh, fingers are to be closed and just blew up the sound will come but later on i in a bhopal i reached to a guru ji or teacher and started visiting with him the message i got that we need to not learn the playing it but rather listening it listening the instrument tanpura which is a mixed violation of uh, Uh, different hertz or frequencies and it was very difficult but initially uh, it was not tough i was not able to concentrate but the moment i able to 
concentrate and filter out the particular frequency is started coming out well and i was able to produce that sound which is needed still i am trying to master other things like the rhythm blow or beats those are hard to come but definitely if i continue doing it the day will come then i will master it but definitely i have found the key to success over to you abhinav thank you very much to sponsor parol so the next speaker is gavrin sushant sushant please come forward yeah am i audible and visible yes you are audible and visible as well the topic for you is i always find the key to success but someone changes the lock okay so like first of all uh, happy evening to one and all present here uh, to my improv to speaking family and also the table topic master thank you for this question this is a really practical one that really suits me i always find the key to success but always they change the lock and it's true in my life whenever i start a research or either a challenge first it may look a little bit difficult for me i started traveling towards it i started researching more about it i started knowing what it is then at a stage when i found out that i found a key for this let me try that's when my opponent keep a checkmate for me that's he or she changes the law oh my goodness and when it, and when the lock is to the still of time to research about very much true and this not only happens at either any challenges or any competitions when we found out that's when our opponent keeps another lock even in the debate when we are speaking our point and it and it when comes to the opponent's point that's when he or she raises a rebuttal point okay thank you over to the table topic master thank you very much gabriel sushant it was a good take moving forward let me call those master savita yes those master abina <clears throat> to error is human those master savita to error is human thank you so much table topic master to error is human absolutely human beings when they are small and the journey of human being from toddler to becoming an adult it is all learning they are learning at each step no one comes in this world learned as a child you are learning some things as an adult you are learning some other things everything is new for them life is like a blank page or a plain slate so it is not necessary that you learn everything whatever is taught in a perfect manner you have you a person commits mistakes repeats the things and with slowly with your iq or with your skills with the practice or with the teachers slowly slowly come to a stage where they are okay or they are perfect or they are ready for uh, they find the solution so it is very 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 natural for anyone to commit mistake we are all human beings nobody is perfect nobody comes learned in this world for anything in this platform also as a practicing table topic practitioner we are all doing practice to make a mistake is very very natural and the mistakes we should learn we should overcome and go ahead in life and remove that docility in us and becomes better in life at each stage with each uh, learning yes to make an error is a human thank you very much over to you table topic master thank you very much very well said 
not to complete this topic i will have to request dtm ajay please come forward first of all i am not dtm i am only tm for me you are a dtm okay totally distracted to smash go ahead <laughs> okay so let's complete this topic to error is human and to admit it is husband to error is human to admit it is husband oh how did you read your how did you read my mind abhinav when the, i was at the beginning of the table topic session itself i was saying the same thing you know you know i am the boss in this house and i have my wife's permission to say so what better example can i set to her is human and to admit it is a is a husband i am admitting that i make errors no doubt about it i am a very docile guy trust me and uh, i remember a very nice quote you know uh, they say that uh, never judge a man before or rather before judging a man you should walk a mile in his shoes before you judge a man you should walk a mile in his shoes after that who cares because you are a mile away and you have his shoes so that's the situation that's what happens with me so whenever there's a situation i make a mistake and walk away very far after that who cares any case i am the husband you know i get away with many things having said that i remember another quote let be a session of quotes they say that every uh, a successful wife lady no i think there's other one a successful man who can earn more money than his wife can spend a successful husband is the one who can earn more money than his wife can spend and a successful wife is the one who can find such a husband so well again the situation comes back to the same scenario i can't but admit whatever you said means you really have made me so emotional right now abhinav i mean, i am i'm almost on the verge of tears that somebody at least was able to assess my situation right here in the forum like anushree ji said i have to confess honestly and in this forum that yes it to err is human and to admit it it has to be husband like me over to you abhinav thank you very much it was really indeed a <clears throat> session of quotes next i would like to call those master sindhu yes good evening to us mr abhinav good evening and the topic for you is you can face any problem to us mr sindhu you can face any problem good evening to your toast master abhinav and uh, all my global impromptu family members i can face any problem actually i got this courage from the toast masters club only after being a toast master those master before that is in my childhood i was a covered timid girl i don't know i was not knowing how to face the challenges i had only tears in my eyes i was not reacting i was not responding i was a kind of uh, i should say a night child without responding i just keep away from all those troubles and problems but now i am i feel that i have developed a certain sort of uh, courage in me and now i am ready to face any of the challenges i don't mind i first of all i removed the uh, thing in my mind that is what others thought about me that was the some that was something which always kept me uh, or pulled me from the back but now i don't have that fear i don't care for what others are talking about me i just do whatever my heart says so i don't care anything i am ready to face any problem in my life and i think that since uh, i am little bit bold i don't face uh, problems the problems are less in number nowadays because i don't take it as a problem i take it as a challenge and i take it as a step to improve myself so day by day i'm just going up and all the problems are wisely handled so i think the all the problems have turned into opportunities for me i learned that magic that is turning the problems or challenges to opportunities now my life was like it is uh, it i could uh, get a clear vision of my life it is moving according to my wish and will so by god's grace i think that in future also i'll be able to tackle all the problems and i'll tackle and convert it into the opportunities so that i can walk boldly and achieve my goals over to you so master apinam 
very well said very well said so next i will like uh, to complete this topic toast master jesse so toast master jesse uh, let's complete this topic you can face any problem except when the problem is your face you can face any problem except when problem is your face okay little cryptic this is uh, i can face any problem when problem is my face i i i, I understand i of course i can face any problems but uh, how the problem becomes my face i can face any problems but the problem becomes my face i understand this problem becomes my face probably i understand it in a way that uh, i think it is a problem uh, and i take it as a problem so uh, uh, the, the, uh, Abhi now, I'm lost for words. <laughs> uh, the actual topic was you can face any problem except when problem is your face. Except my problem is my face. Still, I am unable to understand uh, this topic when my problem is my face. I can accept any problem except my problem is my face. Uh, remember your first ever pimple? Huh? Just remember your first ever pimple. You can connect with the topic. Oh, okay. Yeah, it, it depends how you take. My face is, face is. Uh, uh, if I see a pimple on my face, that's not a problem, uh, and I don't even consider. any infirmity on the face or on the body is a problem for me problems are some sort of challenges that gives me that gives me strength and passion to face and when i do that i don't see people have uh, whether people have pimple on the face or a scar on the face that's not a problem um, so abhi now i hand you over uh, the topic maybe uh, i am misunderstood but uh, uh, my face is never a problem for me or to anybody over to you that was perfect jesse you don't you don't have to agree with the topic the fact that you disagreed is perfect <laughs> absolutely <laughs> so let's call next volunteer toast master janeb janeb can you can we have you on stage janeb janeb Sorry, I thought it was someone else. Yes, yes, yes. I'm talking about you. Yes. Okay. So the topic for you is bring the change you are looking for. So this must be done. Bring the change you are looking for. Okay. First of all, a very good evening to everyone here. Um, I love the I love the idea of the topics and the theme today. It's lovely, and I really like the topic that you have given to me. Bring the change you are looking for. and i am a very staunch believer of this uh, of what you just said because i feel like especially nowadays you see so much happening around in the world so it's very like it's very hard to be ignorant like in the i know there is this quote that ignorance is a bliss but i feel nowadays especially because of the social media and being having phones like you literally have the whole world on your palms right now so it's very hard to be ignorant regarding certain matters and i just feel that like right now it's not just enough is it's it's not just enough for you to just be ignorant about these things and just sit in your living room lounging and blaming the shifting the blame to other people and i feel there was like initially people used to be oh let's be let's uh, people had a very uh, docile approach towards political matters or controversial matters but right now i feel that you you don't do that right now because i feel it's already like 2020 and it's a new era with new energy and new people and i feel it's high time that people should start 
speaking about these things and actually changing things to actually see a change because it's very easy to point fingers at other people that oh someone did not do this or someone did not do that but a lot of times in that we don't realize that how much are we contributing to the society like for example my sister she's a very big uh, very big environmentalist so she brought upon this change like you know how every day we hear oh plastic is bad the turtles dying we basically murdered the whole coral reef the glacier the glaciers which are melting but like are you doing anything for that we do talk about it but are we bringing out bringing about any changes in our life so what my sister did she stopped any kind of plastic tupperware in our house so we are only allowed to use reusable tupperware if you're going out to eat everyone should carry their own metal straws so it's like you're saving on straws uh, because obviously when you go out to restaurants they'll give you in a in a disposable container the food right so you know how we get drinks and ice creams and they have those lids you don't really need those lids because the moment you start eating and eating them you're going to take them out unless it's a take out obviously so she was she tells them not to give them the lid or she'll carry her own water bottle everywhere which is a metal reusable water bottle so she's saving on that plastic water bottle another thing which she recently told me about is you know how we see all these images of all these animals being tortured by plastics and stuff so there's this very small thing that i think we should all do especially now because of the whole corona season we are all wearing masks right every time we go out especially the reusable surgical mask what we don't do is well disposing them the elastic rubber bands which go around our ear it's a very simple thing you should just cut them before throwing them out why because when you don't cut them and when they go into the trash they basically get stuck and tangled into animals legs and around their throats which can be deadly for them so you know these are the small changes using reusable things uh, taking your own reusable grocery bag when you're going out shopping so these are these small changes which are very easy for everyone and these aren't even that hard uh, that hard or if you're going out don't don't throw your trash everywhere don't litter don't litter everywhere take a litter bag in your car so you can just carry your trash and dispose it somewhere proper rather than just throwing it everywhere so i feel these are just small things that you're yeah, that you should do every day and you should be the change you're looking for rather than just shifting the blame to someone else and thinking it's someone else's responsibility to do, to do the work or to clean up the mess you made initially and i think that would be it thank you so much thank you very much it's been such an eye opener speech moving forward to complete this topic i request toastmaster hong lee to come forward so let's complete yes, this I'm topic here. So the only topic is bring the change you are looking for bring the change you are looking for or else carry a debit or credit card so the last but the last the last sentence i didn't hear i'm sorry because you you only mute yourself so it's in the chat sorry. box only bring the change you are looking for or else carry a debit or credit card i still not understand the last and then but anyway i will answer with the the first uh, the first that and bring the change you are looking for it's okay so for the change that for the change that i'm looking for i definitely will bring it because um for me for me change it mean that we have a chance to develop ourselves and to improve everything so if i have a chance to change even though i'm very scared of that i will try to take it for example last year actually the years before last year my boss assigned me to go to ho chi minh city to in charge of our branch and at that time i have no idea how the lives in ho chi minh city and i review it immediately right after he assigned me but after that he he decided he have his decision so i have to go there and with that moment after i go to ho chi minh city everything in my life changed i have a chance to be more socialized to make networking with other businessmen with many new new friends in Ho Chi Minh City and for that i become more confident and that is also the reason why i can have enough brace to try to this uh, platform with all of you 
So from that experience, I think if there's any changes in my life, even though if I do not looking for, it should be better if I try to take it and change myself. By that way, I can improve myself and be better every day, after every day. So with that, back to you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Toastmaster Hong Lee, very well said. Moving mm -hmm. forward, can we have Toastmaster Umar? Yes. Okay, so Umar, topic for you is all men make mistakes. Toastmaster Umar, all men make mistakes. Mm, that's a good one. We all make mistakes. We cannot generalize that only men make mistakes. Women can make mistakes also. To mistake, I, I, you were pre, in a previous topic, there was a, to err is human. Now you are saying mistakes are made by men only. That's also conflicting. So we, be, being sign of fundamental, one of the fundamental signs of being human is to make mistakes. And if you want to try new things in life, you have to take risks. You have to come out of your comfort zone and do things differently. And you have to be able to accept those mistakes that you have made. Because if you will not make mistakes, you will not learn. And either you are a man or a woman. It doesn't matter. It is, it is not gender specific to have those that make mistakes. Okay, men will make mistakes and women will not. We all come in that un, uh, uh, umbrella. And that's important. That's the one thing that I wanted to say. Normally, sometimes I don't go against the topic, but this time I have gone against the topic or I always take a different take on it completely altogether. So to experience, it is said that experience comes from bad judgments. And that experience helps you make good judgments. So if you want to get experience and that is a positive experience in your life, if you want to make create difference in others life also and in your own life and you want to be successful. So you have to have the courage to commit mistakes. Not necessarily you are not a perfect person. You, you cannot be a uh, perfection cannot be achieved, but success is always from, like climbing from one failure to another. You have to be able to do the uh, do the things that others say that you cannot do or all that but that's what makes you the different person if you do do things all the things that everybody is doing you will not you will stay what wherever you are you will not be moving forward back to your table topic master thank you very much toastmaster omar and to answer you that why all men make mistakes we have toastmaster galala galal sorry Toastmaster Galal, please come forward and complete or uh, reply to Toastmaster over. And your topic is all men make mistakes. Married men realize it sooner. All men make mistakes. Married men realize it sooner. Thank you, Abhinav, for this question. This makes me docile, docile, docile. And in Toastmasters language, do, 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 because of what my wife has been doing to me. I have to tell you how I reached this stage. I was driving in the car one day and she was sitting right next to me. And I know the song, please release me, let me go, for I don't love you anymore. And I can't, I can't believe that somebody could say this to a woman. So I changed the words to make her happy. And I said, don't release me. Don't ever let me go. For I will love you more and more. Her lips are cold while yours are warm. And she said, how did you know her lips were cold? My God, I went to my daughter's house. Her husband is a doctor. He, he, he found the first part and then the second part when she said, how can you, they went, 
and he put bandages around my head, and I said, please release me, let me go, or I can't live this way anymore. And that was the end. Thanks and back to you, Toastmaster. Thank you very, very much for this melodious delivery of table topic. Moving forward, let's call Toastmaster Anupama. Toastmaster Anupama, you can unmute yourself. Uh, do we have Anupama with us? I guess she left. So moving forwards, Toastmaster Rajeshwari, please unmute yourself. And the yes, topic, yeah. okay, a top, the topic for you is a girl's room is always clean. A girl's room is always clean. Hey, thank you so much for this lovely topic. Yes, girls' rooms are always clean. I totally agree with this. But uh, for my daughter's case, I think it's little, I mean, I, I can't totally say this. And uh, but she, but what I can see by the pictures of what she, when she was in our Dubai itself, she never uh, bothered to, you know, uh, set up the things or uh, maybe she felt that I was there around her. But uh, when she's back in London, she's like, when I see the pictures and now she's quite organized and I was really happy to see that. And uh, I, I wish I could have seen the same thing in Dubai, you know, the, the happiness would have been doubled or tripled, whatever I can feel it. But uh, at least I'm glad that she's independent there and she has maintained that organization, um, whatever I've instilled or whatever I wanted, but I wanted to see in reality. But I'm seeing on the virtual uh, background or virtual, uh, virtually I'm able to experience or feel it. So I totally agree to this topic and uh, glad uh, you gave me this topic today. I'm like, oops, I'm on track, I can say. <laughs> Thank you. I know. Okay. Thank you very much. Very well said, Rajeshwari. And I like that you enjoyed this topic. Moving forward, can we have Toastmaster Binal with us? Yeah, good evening everyone. Okay, so topic for you is a girl's room is always clean until she had to decide what to wear. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's quite interesting and um, uh, uh, like a practical topic. Actually, uh, yeah, when uh, the girls or ladies, they don't decide, uh, they cannot make out or they, uh, it takes time for them to dress up or to decide which clothes they have to wear before going to party or any occasion. So they keep on um, changing uh, the, the decision, uh, they keep on changing the mind or decision what to wear, which color dress she should wear, is it, it uh, will it look good on her or it is it um, uh, re, um, related to the occasion. So it's like uh, 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 they are quite confused on that. Uh, whereas uh, uh, if men's are there, they just have to just take a shirt and a trouser and that, that's it. They can go and get, get ready for the uh, uh, function or a party or any occasion. Whereas uh, ladies has to dress up, go, uh, do makeup, have, do, they have to take match, matching jewelries and uh, even they should hairstyle her hair properly. Uh, have to have perfect grooming even the sandals shoes should be matching so that you know other people uh, would not um, uh, would recognize uh, her and uh, compliment her and uh, her beauty so uh, i do agree with this statement and um, while they are on uh, going for a party or choosing their dress they are definitely you know the wardrobe would be messed up because of searching for um, uh, some new dress uh, for a different dress or for deciding any um, uh, suitable uh, costume for any suitable occasion. Over to you Toastmaster. Thank you. Thank you very much. Very well said. Moving forward, uh, let's call Toastmaster Baji. Yeah, hello, hi. Okay, so topic for you is life is hard. To Master Bhaji, life is hard. Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, who said life is easy anyways? Life is hard in its own way. Different people experience it in different manner. 
but then at the end of the day everybody has struggles of their own and they go through their own struggles but while you do that if you keep keep it if you keep it in your mind about the struggles you again forget to smile then you need to take all your struggles with a smile because though life is hard life is actually teaching you something just imagine a world where life is not hard at all what exactly are you going to do from the morning till the evening right uh, you do, what there is no spice in life there is no uh, love in life there is there is nothing that you feel like achieving or be motivated because there is no spice whatever in life but when there is hardship that's when you learn faster that's when you realize that you can actually do much more than uh, you thought that you were capable of that actually pushes you to stop being docile and then start being stronger so you know life is hard but enjoy it enjoy it with your family your friends the people around you actually makes a lot of sense for you as a support where you can you know stroll through the life in a much more confident manner and come out much more stronger thank you very well sir thank you very much to complete this topic let me welcome toastmaster anaga yes Hello. okay so the topic is uh, topic for you is life is hard it's harder if you are stupid life it's is harder hard if you are if you it's harder if you are stupid <laughs> okay thank you for that topic uh, toastmaster abhinav life is hard but it is harder if you are stupid it depends on what is your definition of stupid because for someone you might just be smart or the smartest in the world but for a smarter person that smart person is somewhat stupid so it's it totally depends on how you personally define stupid and uh, life definitely is harder for stupid people because uh, if you're if you're trying to not at all make an effort into uh, being smart or taking things the right way or doing the smart way of uh, finishing things on time and not delaying it rather it is definitely hard for you because you are never going to get anything done in life so instead of being docile and just accepting whatever comes your way you have to just go there and be smart and not stupid to make life easier thank you and over to you toastmaster abhinav thank you very much very well said moving forward towards our next speaker that is toastmaster ruth ruth you can come forward and the topic for you is never put off till tomorrow never put off till tomorrow or in simple words never procrastinate till tomorrow well mr table topics master I disagree with that. Now there's some things that you can put off. I was for example going to sell my Zoom stock. I had it for about 8 years and Zoom was going nowhere and I thought, well, you know, I really should sell this, but I put it off. So, you know, I I should have done that. So what else have I put off today? Oh, wow, a lot of things. Yeah. Yeah, I like to put a lot of things off. For example, I put off going out to take out the trash and there was a family of skunks in the neighborhood and because I put off taking out my trash well my neighbors got a visit from the skunk but that's okay I'm going to help them get rid of the skunk smell so sometimes putting things off can be a real benefit it can really save you from things that you didn't want to do you know sometimes should For example, another thing. Today I was going to be fixing a flute and I was going to put off putting my my hands on it and it turns out because I didn't read the directions that flute would have been stuck to my hands and even Parag wouldn't be able to get it off. So 
sometimes putting things off can really help you out. But not with the timer. No, absolutely not. You have to end your talk on time. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. That's it. Moving forward towards our next speaker, Toastmaster Abhinay. Please come forward. Yep. Okay. So Abhinay, topic for you is never put off till tomorrow. What you can do day after tomorrow. Never put off till tomorrow. What you can do day after tomorrow. Thank you, Abhinav. Kal kare so, aaj kar, aaj kare so, par so. Kisne dekha hai jahan jab bite hai bar so. Thank you, hello fellow Toastmasters. My name is Abhinav. I said some words in Hindi. It means that if something is supposed to be done yesterday, plan it for today. If you can manage, if you could not manage, put it for tomorrow. If still doesn't happen, there is a years ahead to go. Why to worry about it? Yes, I thoroughly believe on this concept and being not being a lethargic or not being a, a very uh, easy going person, I believe be, be, because I becoming a docile person. I believe in a concept that something coming to me is always to be to, for my goodness. If something is coming across me and if I supposed to bang my head on it, it is for my good. So always I believe let me take everything what is coming in my on my road and accept it as a challenge and take it ahead let it be challenge for education let it be challenge for getting a job let it have being getting married or let it be joining toastmasters club and practicing any any impromptu speaking that's where challenges are for they train you they, they make you a best best out of you and they will make you a better person day by day that's why i believe if it, if you keep it for today it's okay if you cannot do or somebody somehow you could not manage keep it for tomorrow practice for it do it tomorrow still if it is not happening keep it for day after tomorrow and practice and go ahead and bang it over again and again until you get and succeed that's what my mantra is for me and for everyone thank you over to you abhinav thank you very much abhinav what a energetic performance great 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 moving forward to our next speaker i'd like to request toastmaster eric to please come forward Eric, can you unmute yourself? Thank you very much, Toastmaster Eric. So the topic for you is, we live in a world where air is free. We live in a world where air is free. I pasted a topic in chat box. You can refer to it. Mr. Table Topics Master, Fellow Toastmasters, ladies and gentlemen, the world that we live in, the air is free. It depends in which part of the world you are living. Because I know where I'm living, the air is not free. In fact, it depends on what type of air you are, refer you are referring to. Are you referring to the air of oxygen? Are you, or are you referring to the air of air time? I don't know, but both are not free. There are cities in this world where you cannot breathe the air of those cities if you don't have money. You must have so much money to go and live, like in South Africa, we have cities called Santen. You can't live in Santen. It's expensive. The air there is not free. To breathe, you have to pay. So air might be free. And that is how air was made to be. But if we as human beings have commodified air we have commodified a natural resource and turned it into a profitable state of things. 
There are places, believe me, where no, some other people can't even dream of going to because they know they will never afford it. Ladies and gentlemen, luckily, the air that we breathe in Toastmasters is free. You just pay your juice and, have it, and then you have that air and you enjoy it. So let's keep on enjoying the free air that is being offered by Toastmasters. Mr. Table Topics Master. Thank you very much, Eric. Really very well said. Moving towards our next speaker who will complete this topic, I'd like to invite Toastmaster Chandresh. Please come forward. Yes, sir. So Chandresh, topic for you is, we live in a world where air is free. Myth busted when I bought a bag of chips. We live in a world where air is free. My myth was busted when I bag, when I brought a bag of chips. A very good evening to uh, uh, one and all. Um, yes. Uh, uh, Air is now not free in this world. Apart from all the, uh, we cannot get fresh air because we are in lockdown. And uh, we will not able to go uh, uh, for outing to meet our uh, friends uh, physically, our friends or colleagues physically. Apart from that, uh, Consider the situation of the uh, corona victims. Uh, they are not getting three cylinders, oxygen cylinders. This is also one type of uh, components of air, that is uh, oxygen and nitrogen level to many people right now. So as uh, we are uh, uh, consuming our uh, day to day, uh, uh, in our race of this uh, digitization and of, uh, of growth, uh, are we, uh, uh, are we treating our uh, natural resources? Uh, uh, are we saving our natural resources? Or are we optimizing uses of these natural resources? Or we are just destroying it? We are consuming it uh, any way. So we have to uh, take uh, care of our uh, uh, requirement. And uh, uh, also we have to consider uh, our uh, requirement of our future generation and we have to save our net, nature and natural resources then only we can survive. Very well said. Thank you very much. Let's move forward and call Toastmaster Najla. Please unmute yourself. Yes. My Life, yes, yes, you are audible. Life is short. Smile. Toastmaster Najla. Life is short. Smile. Life is short. Smile. Thank you so much, Table Topic Master, for this uh, topic. Actually, I like that. A sentence and I totally agree. Good evening, good morning, good afternoon, everybody from where you are logging on over the world, the Global Table Topic Master Show. Life is short, definitely. How old are we? How much longer that we are in this life? What is our project and what have we done and what we will do? How many people still we will uh, meet and how many People who will make them smile or make them cry or make them maybe angry to us or make them a friends or enemies. Now to me, having an enemies that is nice because that's a challenge in the life. And furthermore, there is more more challenge than this. It's not only being with people, it's only it's life itself. So being this much far with the life, we need to smile in each challenge. If I will cry every time I have a problem, you will not find me here in the Toastmaster. And you will not find me making Amjad Ali smiling every time I'm speaking. And that make me happy. 
at least and making Omar Farouk to challenge me with each question. So that's another smile and that's another smile in the life. Mr. Ahmed Salsa, he will teach me one day the salsa dance. Yes, right. So that is joyful in the life. We have to keep smile and keep going in life. Each one of us in this life has a, their own plans, their own project. Of course, God has their own, his own plans for us. But still, to reach those destination, we are planning and we are marking our things and our stations. So in each station, just take the lesson and smile and go forward. Over to you, Table Topic Master. Thank you very much, Toast Master Najla. Word of message. And to complete your quote, let me call Toastmaster Ahmed. Please come forward, Toastmaster Ahmed. Toastmaster Ahmed, the topic for you is life is short. Smile while you still have teeth. Ooh. <laughs> life is short. So smile while you still have teeth. Can I see everybody smiling now tonight? Can I see everybody smiling? Give me a big smile, that's nice. Good, keep smiling before you lose your teeth. That's good. <laughs> that's good. You know what? We can take care of two things in life, a smile and your teeth. Because if you, because if you wanna smile, you, know, you wanna make sure that you have good teeth so that people can see it. And to be honest, that's exactly what I would love to do every single day. Take care of my teeth. That's what I do every day in the morning. I get up, first thing in the morning I do is I brush my teeth, take care of it, make sure that I don't eat the wrong things. So that when I go to the office and I give a big smile and you know, I have that beautiful, that beautiful teeth to show. That is so true. And life is too short for, uh, life is too short. So keep smiling and keep taking care of your teeth every single day. And you can teach that to your children as well. I did the same thing with my younger brothers. I said, Muhammad, his name is Muhammad. I said, Muhammad, when you get up in the morning, you know, he's, he's actually about seven, eight years old. I said, Muhammad, every day when you get up, you gotta brush your teeth, my brother. You gotta take care of it and give the world a big smile. And he loves it. That's exactly what we should all do. So Toastmasters, one more time before we conclude. Give me a big smile. Give me a big smile wherever you are. And a smile is universal, by the way, and it's free. You know, so use it, you know, use it, abuse it, do whatever you want, but keep smiling and keep spreading that beautiful positivity that you all do every single night, every single meeting. Okay, I like it. You see, just as he's coming closer, he wants me to see his teeth. His teeth are really, really nice and bright. He's giving me a big smile. And you're a good singer, my brother. Your singing qualities with your beautiful smile and your beautiful teeth. Man, your wife is a lucky woman. Okay, so that's it. I can see the yellow, but I love this topic. I don't want to give up. So keep smiling and keep taking care of your teeth. Back to you. <laughs> Thank you very much, Emma. You should become a brand ambassador of any toothpaste. The way you presented this topic. <laughs> keep smiling. Moving forward towards uh, the next speaker, let's call Toastmaster. Nada. Good evening, everybody. So, topic for you is I am a leader, not a follower. Toastmaster Nada, I am a leader, not a follower. Um, yes, I am. I am a leader. I, I can. Uh, I start a leader since I was a, a child. I am the oldest uh, the children of my in my family. I, the oldest uh, daughter, and uh, I always uh, keep uh, my eyes on my uh, sisters and just uh, put them in the right direction. I uh, uh, not allow them to do uh, to. Uh, um, <coughs> To take, uh, take uh, sorry, I don't allow them to make mistake because I don't want them to hurt. I usually do my, um, I I have my own experience. Then I pass it to them, uh, the successful one. Also, I uh, every day since that time, um, since I was child, I'm now already grandma. 
I always motivate people how to change their life to better uh, and to uh, give them, uh, uh, make them uh, feel better also. And I uh, help them to change their mind to positive thinking. And as he said, I let them feel uh, happy and smile. Thank you. Thank you very much, Dose Manolda. To conclude this topic, let me call the timer for the day, Dose Sponsor Mono. Mono, please come forward. And the topic you want to continue no. is, yes, Mono, the topic is, I'm a leader, not a follower, but when it's a dark place, you are going first. At paste, uh, paste the topic on the chat box. I'm a leader, not a follower, but when it's a dark place, you are going first. Thank you. Thank you, Table Topic Master and my good evening uh, friends. I'm a leader, not a follower. Follower. Yes, I am a leader. I am a leader in my office. I am leader in my family because this is the time now to I have to become a leader. Before the leader, I was really a follower because in our family we have a parents. They used to they used to take me away to earn something, to learn something in the education system. They take me away, and that day I followed for my parents. What I learned, I'm still learning from my parents. But now this is the time we have grown up, we have a child, and we have to work as a leader. What we learn from our parents, we have to convey the same thing to our uh, children. But in some places, where we have to we have to tell some person, we have to tell our child to go to for, to lead. Us because this is the way we can we can give will definitely learn any things. We have to believe them until and unless we will not believe them, we will not give chance to lead ourselves, they will not going to become a good leader. So, my dear friends, chance to our family member, to our children, our young uh, Abhe in the world, as well as same in our. Uh, we used to we used to do a lot of work and don't want to give chance to our uh, follower who is working under our leading. So, this is the time we have to. Believe them, we have to give chance to them to go away because as, as soon as they will grow up, we will definitely grow up because we gave chance to them. Thank you. Uh, over to you, Toastmaster Abhinav. You know. Thank you, Toastmaster Monu. So the last topic for the day is for the last person. Without any guesses, DTM Amjad Ali. Topic for you and... Sir. For you, there's a relaxation that you will speak of both the parts, first part and second part. First part will be delivered to you right now, and the second part, as soon as you will see the green card. Yeah, actually, Farida ma'am is there also, you can give her also. Okay, Farida ma'am, so the first topic uh, is uh, for you, and second will be for our DTM, Amjad. Amjad. So, Farida ma'am, topic for you is, my wife always gave me multiple choices in menu. Though it's not good for you, but still, let's go for it. My spouse gave me the uh, multiple choices in menu. You can replace wife with spouse. Over to you. A very good, a very good evening to all my global and my prompto family. My humble apologies for joining in late, but I was at work. I came, just came in, and I logged in immediately. So the topic for tonight is my wife gives me multiple choices in my menu or my spouse. I totally agree with this. The reason being is because marriage is a very delicate balance. It's a game of adjustment. The, both the parties have to fit in like pieces of the jigsaw puzzle. If there's a little bit of misfit, then it, it leads to sparks. 
so always always each spouse should give the other person enough space to grow and enough choices to make it should not be just do this no there is no 100% there should always be an option of adjustment of giving the other person free will giving the other person a, a space to voice their opinion even if their opinion doesn't count in the end <laughs> at least they should be given the freedom to voice their their opinion i believe in this and this is what i have taught my other family members as well and this is actually what i've learned from my own mom and i've passed it on to my children that even if your opinion doesn't matter or is not taken into account you should have the choice of voicing it and my husband i totally agree he is the darling of my life and he's a pure sweetheart i'm sure if all of you get a chance to meet him undoubtedly all of you are going to fall in love with him this i i don't know a soul on this on this planet who hates him he's such a lovely person he's a true gentleman he always speaks the truth and one good thing that he has done in 30 years of our marital life is he has always kept the menu full of choices so we always do things we enjoy life there is always novelty in our life our marriage doesn't does, doesn't become stale and that is one of the secret of our happy marriage and my ever smiling face a very good evening to all of you and to conclude this topic as well as this meeting let's call amjad ali let's complete this topic my wife always offer multiple choices in menu and options are leave it or take it thank you so much mr table topics master my life my wife always gives me choices in menu and choices are take it or leave it Oh come on man it's been 13 years she is so kind so so supportive every day the problem we have with each other is she asks me what do you want to eat and unfortunately i am the one who never replied perhaps maybe in 13 years not even 13 times but she offered me something which i'm always cherishing the end of the day i'm not a foodie person i'm a person who eats just to live so whatever comes on my plate i make sure i'm thankfully by the grace of almighty enjoying it and making my stomach full and continuing my life and that's what it is and i don't think she has ever imagined in her head even take it or leave it she has become angry with me that you have never offered me or asked me something that we can make something like biryani or chicken pulao or something ask me something so i can serve you something make you something special so you can feel comfortable and i never felt like it's not like about i don't want to ask her i'm not a foody person i don't know about anything i i don't know anything about food honestly speaking i'm just eating just to live it and i think we are thoroughly enjoying it i'm sure she is happy she is listening right in front of me and she is smiling she is nodding as well i don't know is uh, this nodding is yes or no but she is nodding <laughs> it could be sarcastic nodding as well but yes this is my life ladies and gentlemen we are thoroughly enjoying it and we are wishing our togetherness forever till our last breath thank you so much for this topic over to you thank, thank you very much i have a to topic for abhinav already so it's a revenge time yeah <laughs> you know it so you your your rule applies for the first one minute you speak the first part and the next one minute the second part are you okay. good to go yes okay. Mo mono gone. mono it will be one minute first green till he speaks the first part and then uh, i'll give him the second part and then another minute for him to speak the second part okay we now good to go can i okay. say no <laughs> no no you know you cannot <laughs> okay it's very simple i am sure you are, you love this topic it's not nothing uh, strange marriage is like a walk in the park marriage is like a walk in the park abina marriage is like a walk in the park 
Yes, I fully agree with this quote. Imagine you're walking in a park. What you'll do? Well, you see people, people around, and this is what sometimes happens with a married person when he's walking. So he instead of uh, paying attention to his wife, his eyes are here and there, searching for someone else, someone better option. And when that person sees a better option, he regrets. Oh. Where was she when I was looking for a guy? Doesn't she have a Bharat Matrim on the profile? I guess she didn't have because I could, I searched every single girl on that profile, and I landed I landed on this lady, whom I married. At the time, she was the best suitable option for me, but now after so many years, I regret. So, when we walked in a park, yes. Life likes you are walking on a walking in a garden and regretting your options, your selection. It is like I think Mono is good with green card, and I'm ready for the second topic. Perfect, fantastic. Now let me complete it. Marriage is like a walk in the park, but the park is Jurassic Park. Marriage is like a walk in the park, but the park is Jurassic Park. Over to you. I think we have a great connection to uh, to Master Ajay because somehow our thoughts are quite similar. Yes, indeed, it is a walk in Jurassic Park, especially when you are visiting your in-laws. I guess she slept. I don't know. <laughs> so yes, when you visit your in-laws, you know they are really great. They serve great food and they feed you like you haven't ate for a for since eons. They will offer you so many things. Okay, eat this, better eat this, and after that, oh, we have dessert, and then after we have post dinner sweets. Man, after dessert, no one eats sweets, but they offer you many things. And if somehow you say no, then the first person who will show you some eyes will be your better half. Like, come on, this is my mom. She's feeding you something. She cooked. She prepared it for only for you, and you are saying no. You have to eat it. This entire conversation is said by just a small girl that you have to eat it. She will not utter a single word, but her eyes will say everything. And what else we have to do? We are in Jurassic Park, surrounded by so many dinosaurs. We have no option left. Whatever food is served to us, we have to take it. We have no option to leave it. So yes, I indeed follow this quote: "Life, married life, is like a walking in a park," which is indeed. A Jurassic Park. May God be with us. Thank you very much for giving me this topic. Over to you, Toastmaster Ramjad Ali. It was a great session. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen, and special thanks to Toastmaster Abhinav Gaur for troubling us. All right, please give me a big hand, loudest one, please. Thank you so much. Beautiful topics, Thank of Thank course, thought provoking. No, 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 no. Of course, we love that. We love that. Thank you so much. It was on a lighter note. We have. Can we just go to our timer, Mr. Monu Sahu, to like just uh, explain the timing report? Oh wow! So, wow! Very good. Oh yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead, please. Every everyone is. Uh eligible except uh, to master Jenna. See, just fall away to get, take your answer. Uh, she took three minutes, 40 seconds. So, ah, okay. she is not today, eligible. Today she Apart was in the, doctor's uh, mood. Her mom. Yes, right, right. <laughs> right. So, everyone is eligible. Toastmaster Anushri took 2 minutes 11 seconds, Toastmaster Bapha took 1 minute 13 seconds, Toastmaster Parak took 2 minutes 15 seconds, Toastmaster Sasan took 1 minute 26 seconds, Toastmaster Savita took 1 minute 54 seconds, Toastmaster Ajay took 1 minute 45 seconds, Toastmaster Sindhu took 1 minute 55 seconds, Toastmaster Jesse took 2 minute 25 seconds, Toastmaster Janap took 3 minute 40 seconds, Toastmaster Honglis took 1 minute 59 seconds, Toastmaster Amar took 2 minute 13 seconds, Toastmaster Galal took 1 minute 29 seconds, Toastmaster Rastri took 1 minute, Toastmaster Vinal took 1 minute 37 seconds, Toastmaster Vaji took 1 minute 32 seconds, Toastmaster Ang Anga uh, took 1 minute 20 second. Toastmaster Ruth took 1 minute 29 second. Toastmaster Abhinay took 1 minute 50 second. Toastmaster Eric took 2 minute 15 second. Toastmaster Chandresh took 1 minute 59 second. Toastmaster Naja took 1 minute 46 second. Toastmaster Ahmad took 2 minute 10 second. Toastmaster Nada took 1 minute 20 second. Toastmaster Manu took 
2 minute 25 second postmaster farida took 2 minute 21 second postmaster ahmed took 1 minute 53 second and postmaster abina took 2 minute 21 second he deserves a big hand please he deserves a big hand he managed 27 brilliant speaker thank you so much manu really appreciate appreciate your effort and also uh Tosmas abhinav again a big thunderous round of applause for you you managed 27 now you were adding almost every single day one member and this is such a great attempt actually honestly speaking thank you so much ladies and gentlemen with that thank you so much for your support thank you so much for coming and empowering other Toastmaster members society members trust me you will get the price paid in your life very soon I don't know how it's going to be, but you will see with glory on your face, happiness in your life, and anything you feel like, wow, I'm a queen, I'm a king, something like as such, you will be living your life because you are empowering people, you are serving the society. Thank you so much. With that, power vested me as the host of this very meeting. I agenda meeting now over to each one of you to have fun.